Hey, it's me, Riker. Today we're going to have a look at Shimira, the Corpse Maker. Now, this here is part of the Greyborn faction, wears cloth-based gear, is part of the Dura's Mage Tree, and her primary role is to provide a significant amount of continuous AoE damage. So let's have a look at her skills. Her ultimate ability, Tortured Souls. Now, this is a soul effect where these green particles will appear around the screen and they will continue to deal damage to the enemies. So let's have a look at this ability. Souls spiral around Shimira, causing continuous damage to nearby enemies for 12 seconds. After this period, a certain amount of damage caused by this skill will be converted into health that heals Shimira. So as we can see over here, we can see 50% of the damage caused will be given to Shimira as health. The level two damage is increased to 80% and 100% of the skill's total damage is converted into health. And level three upgrade damage is increased to 90% and restores 25% health when dealing damage and gradually restores the health after the skill has finished. So this instead of allows a instant heal, this will heal her over time so she can continue to keep healing and surviving throughout the duration in battle. So let's take a look at next ability, Soul Siphon. Now this is a channel-like effect. Shimura continuously leeches an enemy's health. The level two increases damage to 50%. The level three increases the damage and gradually increases over time. And the level four upgrade damage is increased to 60%. And the next ability, Silence. Shimira deals 100% damage to a magic-based enemy and simultaneously prevents them from using any skills for several seconds. So this is extremely effective if an enemy is on the back line, they are busy trying to cast their ultimate or one of their abilities and Shimira can instantly silence them for a couple of seconds. The level 2 damage is increased to 130% and the level 3 and 4 increase the amount of damage that this ability does. Let's have a look at the next ability, Wrath. Shimira deals more damage the more health she possesses. Shimira's damage can be increased up to 30%. Now, if you pair this up with her ultimate, which is constantly healing her, you'll be able to do the maximum amount of damage using her abilities. Level two, crit rating increases up to an additional 30%. Level three, damage is increased up to 40%. And the 60 engravings, after using the ultimate skill, Tortured Souls, Shimira ignores all health requirements and receives the maximum damage increase, which lasts for eight seconds. So this can be extremely effective with Shimira, especially when she's surviving against a large amount of enemies. So let's have a look at her signature item. So when you unlock her signature item, Twisted Torture, the skill Tortured Souls damage increases with the number of enemies on the battlefield. So the greater amount of enemies, the more damage that she will deal. So the level 10, 20, and 30 increases the amount of damage that she deals to the enemy. So as we can see over here, the level 10, the torture skills skill deals 24% extra damage when there is one enemy on the battlefield and 12% when there's two and 6% when there are three enemy heroes. So as we can see, the, the lesser the enemies there are, the more damage that she will deal. So the level 20 and 30, tortured souls skill deals 48% more damage if there's one, 24% more if there's two, and 12% more damage when there are three enemies on the battlefield. So let's have a look at her furniture. Inner Yearning. When Shimira's energy is full, she becomes immune to control effects for two seconds and immediately uses her ultimate skill. This skill can be activated even when another skill is currently in use. So when she's channeling her siphon or silencing the enemy, this will allow her to use her ultimate be able to heal herself and continue to deal damage to the enemies. Her nine out of nine. When Shimira's health falls below 50%, the percent of damage that is converted into health while her tortured soul skill is in effect is raised by 30%. Once tortured souls have finished dealing damage to enemies, the percentage of damage converted into health falls by 30%. So this wanes and waxes depending on how much health Shimira has. So let's have a look at how she does in battle. Now this hero has significantly fallen out of the meta and she's currently not used in any game mode currently. However, in the early game, this hero is extremely effective at dealing massive amounts of damage and allowing you to easily progress through the earlier campaign stages. 
However, there are other heroes who will significantly outclass Shimira because they have better damage scaling or they have various other effects that deal more damage or allow them to live longer than Shimira. So as we can see over here, she shoots a little ball. There we go. There's another ball that she shoots. Now she will cast her channel-like effect. There's a silence, as we can see here. It silences the enemies for a couple of seconds. There's the channel-like effect that she does on the enemies. So let's have a look at her ultimate skill. So as we can see, she casts her souls. This will cover the entire battlefield and continue to deal damage to the enemies. Now, as we can see, before the enemy even has a chance to walk onto the battlefield, the enemy is continually taking damage. Now, another thing that is important about Shimira is she can stack her ultimate multiple times on the battlefield. So if one is currently present and she uses her ultimate another time, she will have multiple effects of the ultimate running at the same time, allowing her to heal and deal even more damage to the enemy heroes. So what is the minimum investment that I would recommend into Shimira over here? Now, because this hero is not used in any game mode currently, and is only used in some niche situations such as early game, I would only recommend getting her 20 signature item. I do not recommend getting her 30 signature item or her nine furniture as we can see over here. And I also do not recommend getting any of her engravings, either the 30 engravings or I do not recommend the 60 engravings as well.